Now, here's a question for you. What do meat, salt, cut flowers, fruits and vegetables, very different things, but they all have one thing in common. If you're in Kenya right now, the answer is that they're all affected one way or another by a ban on plastic packaging. Now, between January and May, Kenya exported nearly 140,000 tons of cut flowers, fruits and veggies, earning it over $450 million in foreign currency in the process. As I found out a little earlier, the entire industry is now at risk of closing shop. Samuel Matonda is from the Kenya Association of Manufacturers. They have stopped exports of flowers, fruits and vegetables because they are packaging the same in, uh, in uh, flat bags as well. Mm. Now, what, what the impact is, uh, if I could just say br very briefly, is that we have the plastic manufacturers themselves closed down. The reason being, they do not have permits. You know, they get Kenya Bureau of Standards permits to manufacture mm -hmm. and for the products which are approved. So uh, since uh, Kenya Bureau of Standards is a government organization, of course, and we are all law abiding, so the members had to close down mm -hmm. because they don't have permits to manufacture. But hang on, the, this, this is a part that doesn't make sense for a lot of us. The, the Gazette notice came out way back in February, yes. right? Yes. And we knew back, as far as back then, but end of August, plastic ban comes into effect. Yes. So it stands to reason, logically, that mm -hmm. all the other organizations in the chain, KEBS, mm -hmm. for example, NEMA, mm -hmm. should have already put in these requirements. Like, say, for example, if it's going to certify you for paper packaging mm -hmm. or whatever other sort of plastic bags might have been accepted, mm -hmm. that should have happened months ago. Instead Why of, didn't it happen? Instead of uh, uh, getting those uh, exemptions in place earlier, actually members got uh, notifications that they will not be in operation mm -hmm. from 28th of August. They got those notifications from the Kenya Bureau of Standards. We went there as the Kenya Chain Manufacturers, met the MD and his team, and that's when he said, no, then you continue manufacturing up to 28th. But then, uh, and the understanding was, you know, the general public thinks that what has been banned is the carrier bags, whatever is used to, to, to package your goods when you go to a supermarket, for mm -hmm. example. Mm -hmm. But the, the way the ban is written, it is talking about all flat bags, and those are the industrial packaging. And then there are new rules which, uh, or regulations that uh, NEMA puts on, on the website that uh, you have to be cleared. Of course, they talked about the exemptions of garbage bins after we made a lot of noise and talked about it. And of course, uh, exemptions on, uh, on uh, maybe pharmaceutical uh, uh, products, some. But then now, when we had a meeting recently with the Director General NEMA, more than 500 manufacturers came. He was even shocked when he saw that number. And he was asked, now all of us have closed. Then he was like, why have you closed? He said, no, we cannot operate illegally. We have to close. Some of our, manf our exporters cannot export some of their products because they are told you are packaging using a product which has been banned in your country. So are you respons a responsible manufacturer? Let's, let's yes. bring it down to numbers that our yes. audience will probably be looking at. In terms of, in terms of jobs, yes. in terms of revenue lost because mm -hmm. I mean you're talking about horticulture that's correct me if I'm wrong the second largest revenue earner foreign mm -hmm. exchange earner mm -hmm. for this particular country with mm -hmm. flowers and fruit and so on and so forth yes. um, the job figures that we we're talking about in advance of the ban it, in the plastic sector alone roughly 66 70 thousand people if your numbers are right those are all guys who are out of a job and not working right yes. now yes that's true those ones are closed for sure definitely and even when the director general Nema went round in the crackdown on Monday and Tuesday, he found the factories closed. Now downstream, you are now finding users are even more affected. They have meat to package, they have flowers to package and sell, they have cheese to package and they put in deep freezers, they have chicken to sell. They have, now they are like, they are asking for the packaging material, the manufacturer is saying we are closed because it is a requirement that we close because we cannot manufacture before we get the exemptions.